Yo, what's up world? It's your boy Filosco here. And today we're going to have our first lesson on idioms. And an idiom is basically an expression that cannot be understood by defining the individual words. For example, I could say, she's pulling my leg. But it has nothing to do with her pulling or even my leg. She's not touching me or my leg. It means she is lying to me. To pull someone's leg means to lie to them, to try to trick them, to not be telling the truth. And I don't like people who pull my leg at all. And today, we're going to learn three more idioms. And I'm going to teach you these and explain each and every one of you to make sure you understand it before the episode is over. So let's get to the first one. The first one is a new lease on life. For example, if you're a girl and you have a boyfriend who you've been with for a very long time and you really, really love him, the day he proposes to you, you will have a new lease on life. You'll be so happy because soon you'll have a new husband and you'll get to be very, very happy every single night. And if he's rich, you could get him to buy you a car, a ring, earrings, some girls even want new hair, and have babies and all of that stuff. And you will have a new lease on life. Next idiom. Next idiom we're going to learn is a faux pas. Now I know this doesn't really look like an English word, look like it may have some French roots or something. But anyway, a faux pas means to make an embarrassing mistake in public. For example, if my sister Filipskina were to go outside and her hair were to fall off. Well I look like how? I look like yes and you look like no. That would be a faux pas because she embarrassed herself she wanted everyone to think her hair was real, but now it's obviously pretty fake. Whatever, I still look better than y'all anyway. Shit, bees in a trap. Next idiom we're going to learn for today is to spice things up. Or spice it up, or spice something up, or spice up our relationship. There's many ways to say this one. But now we are just going to focus on spicing it up. And to spice it up means to make something more exciting especially in a sexual way. For example, if I had a girlfriend and she wanted to be very nice to me and she wanted to spice things up in our relationship, she would probably wear something like this. And yeah, that'll, that would work for me. And a person doesn't only have to look better themselves, they can also spice things up with new locations. For example, so let's say if a guy wanted to spice things up and he had a good amount of money and he wanted to find a new and sexy location to spice things up with his girlfriend, he would probably buy something like this. Drive her around in it somewhere quiet and start kissing her in this really cool vehicle with the engine on. And that would really spice things up because he's making it more sexual and more exciting for her. And soon I get the money, I'm going to try to spice things up with myself. And if you think I'm killing it at making Learn English videos, then subscribe to me right here. Because that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash That's me. And subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. I will have more videos on idiom soon. But my next video, I believe, is going to be about words that make you sound smarter. So maybe you want to outsmart your English teacher in English. I will teach you how. So subscribe to me and you will see that video coming up tomorrow. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed it. Later.